Hey, fourth and fifth grade, it's Miss Sublet. Hopefully by now you know what the school counselor does in your school. Um, but today I want to go over our bullying intervention. That's one of my jobs, make sure that our kids are happy and safe at school and there's no bullying going on and um, everyone feels happy to come to school. So today we're going to go over our first bullying uh, lesson. We'll have one more next week and then we will be done. Uh, this week we're going to talk about recognize, report, and refuse. So you all probably remember this um, poster hanging out in the hallway last year and in the music room. Um, I will continue to teach lessons in the music room every Friday. If you if you don't have me this, fr uh, this nine weeks, you will have me um, throughout the school year every nine weeks I will change classes so you will have me sometime uh, this year so recognize report and refuse let's uh, go over this real quick because you all have been going over this for the last two years recognize means that you understand that a bullying situation is happening you can recognize that it's going to ha it's happening report means that you report it to an adult don't go and report it to your friends because they're students and they can't do anything to help you, okay? And that just causes more drama. So report it to an adult and then refuse to let it happen. I refuse to let you bully me. I'm going to go to you, talk to you in a firm yet kind voice, respectful voice, and try to make you stop bullying. So we have a, uh, let's go over first some examples of bullying hurting someone's body or their belongings, okay? Um, you all know what that means. You are kicking, pushing, punching, or you are breaking their pencils, uh, cutting their shoestrings, pushing their books off the desk. Those are hurting someone's body or someone's uh, belongings. Another example is using words to hurt someone's feelings. Okay, so you're not hurting their body, but you're hurting their feelings. You're call, calling them names or you're making fun of them in some way. Okay, something I always tell you guys, if everyone's not laughing, it's not funny. Okay, I don't care if you and a couple of your friends are laughing and cracking up. If not everyone in the situation is laughing, then it's not funny. All right. I know a lot of times when I talk to fourth and fifth graders, they'll say, well, Miss Sublet, I was just kidding. I was just joking. Well, it's not funny. If not, everyone's laughing. Just keep that in mind. Also, bullying is leaving someone out on purpose. Well, you can't play with us on the playground where you get all your friends not to like that one person. Hey, don't be so-and-so's friend or I'm not going to be your friend. That's bullying and that's singling someone out. Okay. And that is also the last example of bullying, getting others to be mean or exclude somebody. Okay. All right, let's talk about what is bullying. Bullying is when someone keeps being mean to someone else on purpose. And listen to what I said, when someone keeps being mean, that is bullying. If someone calls you a name one time, that was a bad choice, okay? But that was not a bullying situation. If someone pushes you one time, that was a bad choice, but it was not a bullying situation, okay? It is something that continues to happen all the time. That is when it becomes bullying, okay? I get a lot of people come in here and say, Miss Sullivan, I'm being bullied. And I'm like, well, honey, what are they doing? And they'll say, well, today so-and-so called me four eyes. I'm like, well, have they been calling you that every day? No, it was just one time. Well, that was a bad choice, okay? But usually your teacher can take care of things like that, all right? A bullying situation is happening over and over, and it is unfair, and it's one-sided. That means that the other person is not calling you names back, okay? They're not trying to be mean to you back. They're just minding their own business. They don't want to be a part of any kind of drama. It's just one-sided situation, and it's unfair, Okay, so we have a little story to watch. So we're going to watch the first part and talk about it, and then we're going to watch the last part, okay? Hey, 
Okay, so Kiana has realized that she has a friend that likes to be her friend when they're not around other people, but as soon as they get around other people at school, she kind of turns on her, and she starts bullying her, okay? And not just her. It sounds looks like Angie is bullying pretty much everybody. So it seems like she's just being a mean girl, okay? So... Let's discuss a little bit about um, their friendship, okay? So it looks like Kiana and Angie are friends, but like I said, as soon as they get to school, it's over. If Angie and Kiana are friends, why do you think Angie is being mean to Kiana? Why do you think Angie would be mean to Kiana at school but not outside of school? Well, if you said things like, well, she wants to be popular, she wants to be funny, she wants all the attention on her, then you would be right. Angie says mean things to Kiana to be funny and to impress the other kids. Is it okay to make fun of somebody just to be funny or to be cool? No, it's not. Making others feel bad is never funny. Do you think Angie is bullying Kiana? Touch your head if you agree. Do you think Angie is bullying Kiana? Very good. It looks like everyone touched their head. But how can you tell it's bullying? Well, we have to use our first R. We have to recognize when bullying is happening. Angie is being mean on purpose whenever other kids are around. She keeps doing it to Kiana. All right. And she can't, and Kiana can't make it stop. Angie is more popular, Kiana doesn't do anything back. And that's how we know it's a bullying situation. All right, so let's see what Kiana decides to do. So we're going to watch the second part of the video.
Okay, so Kiana gave us kind of the overview of what you should do in a bullying situation, right? She kind of had her mirror tell her um, a couple different scenarios. So within those scenarios, she recognized she was being bullied. She either one she either is going to make the decision to report to the teacher or to refuse it herself. Okay. Um, and you can do both actually. Um, but let's, what do you all think she should do? Raise your hand. If you think she should do nothing at all. If you raise your hand, that's not good. Okay. Because the more someone bullies you, the harder your life is going to get. And the more depressed and the sadder you're going to, the more sad you're going to get. Okay. Number two, do you think she should report the bullying to Miss Warren? Raise your hand. Okay. Hands down. Do you think that she should do number three? Assertively tell Angie to stop bullying her. Okay. Hands down. Very good. All right. So we don't, we aren't, you guys are going to kill me, but we're not going to find out what Kiana decides because both of the last two were good choices. Okay. We want to recognize, report, refuse. Now you can report and refuse, or you could report, let the teacher take care of it. Okay. Or you can just go from recognize to refuse. It's really up to you. Okay. You guys are old enough to start sticking up for yourself. But also, if it becomes something that you can't do yourself, it's okay to report. All right. So now we're just going to do the, a little activity really quick. A little activity. First, we're going to go up here and we're going to talk about these two students who are in a disagreement at school. Okay. At lunch, Katie grabs Raphael's milk when he's not looking. When he notices, he tries to grab it back from her. She elbows him, then quickly drinks it. He gets angry and smashes the crackers on her tray. She screams at him and calls him a jerk. Raise your hand if you think this is bullying. Okay. Raise your hand if you don't think it's bullying. All right, hands down. Actually, I know this is confusing, but let me explain. This is not bullying, okay? It's a one-time incident. As far as we know, neither Katie or Raphael have picked on each other repeatedly. It's not one-sided because both Katie and Raphael are participating in the bad behavior. So what is it if it isn't bullying? What do you think you call this? If it's not a bullying situation, we would call it a problem for sure, a conflict. They're definitely having a conflict, a disagreement, and or it's just bad behavior, right? So the reason why it's not bullying is because it's not happening over and over. And as far as we know, this is the first time that these two have been into it, right? So this is just a problem or a conflict. And a conflict can still be a problem that needs solved. You might still need to get an adult involved. But most of the time, you can resolve your conflict and your disagreement, especially as fourth and fifth graders. Most of the time, you guys can kind of work through your disagreements yourself. Most of the time, you can resolve it. But bullying is something that keeps happening. And you may need help from an adult to get it to stop. So uh, let's do some more little scenarios, okay? So here's our first scenario. So you and a classmate are running to get the best basketball on the playground. You get the ball first. She grabs it out of your hands and she says you had it yesterday i get the basketball today you grab it back and say that's not true carl you had it yesterday all right i got it first it's mine she says it was you who had it yesterday you're lying 
All right, so if you think this is bullying, I want you to raise your hand. If you think it is not bullying, keep your hand down. All right, very good. If you did not put your hand up, you were right, because this scenario is not bullying. We don't have as much information. It looks like these two are just in a disagreement. They're fighting over the ball. Um, they are being rude to each other, but it's not a bullying situation. We don't know if it happens every day. Um, it looks like both of them are just angry. It's just a problem. It's a disagreement and it's bad behavior, but it's not bullying. Very good. All right, our next scenario. All right, so um, every day at lunch, a boy in your class tells the other kids not to sit by you because you're a loser. So most of the time, you end up sitting by yourself. If you think this is bullying, I want you to raise your hand. If you think this is not bullying, don't raise your hand. So every day at lunch, this boy, don't let other kids sit with you and cause you a loser. If you did not raise your hand, you are correct because this is not bullying. Or this is bullying. Sorry, if you raised your hand, you're correct. This scenario is bullying. It, it, it's bullying because it's happening every single day. He's calling someone a name and he's singling somebody out, right? And he is um, not letting other kids sit with you. He's making other kids not sit with you, okay? So that is definitely him being a bully. So I want you all to practice how to refuse this bully. Okay, what are you going to do? Maybe you're going to report it first, or maybe you're going to refuse the bullying and tell him in a firm voice. So I want you to pair up. Teachers, you can pause it here if you'd like. Pair up, and I want you to practice telling him to stop. I want you to practice refusing. And I also want you to practice reporting. Maybe one can be the teacher, and the other be uh, the one who's getting bullied and report to that teacher what is going on at lunch. You can pause it and we will move on. Okay, so by now you've practiced reporting, you have practiced refusing, and we already know how to recognize bullying, so I'm very proud of you all. I want you to keep this in mind this year as we move on. These posters will be in the hallway, and I'll be teaching more about kindness and all of that good stuff during Second Steps during music class on Fridays. So if you have music on Fridays, I'll see you this nine weeks. But if you don't, I'll see you another part of the year, okay? If you guys ever need me, um, I'm here. And I'm sure by now you know how to get to see me. All you have to do is ask your teacher to see the counselor. If you don't want to tell them what it's about, just say it's something personal or it's something private. And they will email me or call me and um, I will get you as soon as I can, okay? You all have a wonderful year. We'll have one more bully lesson, and we will be done with bullying prevention. I'll be sending that video out next week.